The Department of Biological Sciences, when I joined it, was almost totally devoid of female faculty. The sole exception was Isabel Izzy Abbott, a world expert on marine algae who had a half-time slot in the department's Hopkins Marine Station down the coast in Monterey, where her husband, Don Abbott, was a professor. With an appointment of Charlie Anofsky, Cliff Grobstein, Don Kennedy, Peter Raven, and me, all between 1959 and 1962, the pressure to appoint a woman increased, but not so much that anything substantial was done for some years. Finally, in the 1970s, the department attempted to hire Virginia Walbut, a fine maize geneticist who had been a Stanford undergrad and had gone to get her PhD and teach at Washington University in St. Louis. Our departmental chair at the time announced in a meeting of tenured faculty that he would make Ginny an offer, but he would tell her that she'd have to give up her work in a women's cell biology group if she wanted to get tenure. I moved that the chair be instructed not to say one word to the candidate about her extracurricular activities. She is an adult scientist, well aware of what is required to get tenure. Don Kennedy seconded my motion and the department voted it unanimously. Our department has since hired a series of brilliant female scientists, and I'm proud to say my discipline of ecology may now globally be moving toward having more female leaders than male.